Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to the final part of the apartment complex build. It's finally done. It is. You can download this right now or the link in the description down below. But be warned, uh, not only does it cost half a million simoleons, it also is pretty damn laggy because there's a lot of items in here. What I would suggest you do is decide what you want to use it for. If you want to use it for residential or like, uh, uh, you know, the... The gym, you could use as a gym lot, or there's the, the sort of dine-out aspect you could use. Decide what you want to use it as, and then delete the parts that you don't need, because uh, it, there's so many items in here that it struggles. And it's struggling on my computer. My computer is not a slouch by any means. Uh, so, can recommend you delete a number of items. Decide which part you want to use, and use it for that part. Or just appreciate how detailed it is. And then never play on it because it's so laggy. Uh, it's no, it's not that laggy, but it is. Uh, but yeah, honestly, something to consider. I would I would suggest deleting the parts you don't need. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so getting into the first part of this build today, uh, it was a very popular suggestion to do a yoga studio. Uh, so I thought I would do exactly that. So uh, I had a look at pictures of yoga studios. They tend to have really nice big windows and lots of light. Uh, unfortunately, we're in the basement, so we couldn't really have a lot of windows, but I did get a little bit of window in there, and then we have the window to the main outside area, and then it, you also saw that on the level above that I added a couple of skylights. So we have, the, we're using those glass dance floors as skylights, so we get a bunch of light flooding through, and believe me, it looks beautiful. Like, when we get to the screenshots, you'll see a nice shot of the, all the light sort of coming in. It looks really, really nice. And then we have these beautiful water features in the back here with mirrors behind them because I thought that looked kind of cool. Uh, however, I don't know. Uh, no, yeah, it'd be fine. Uh, might make you go to the bathroom a little bit, but I think it'd be okay. Uh, <laughs> and then, so yeah, this is just the front of the yoga studio, getting all these beautiful bamboo plants in here, looking nice and manicured, and uh, just adding a bit of greenery to the place because it's just going to have. It's well, essentially, a yoga studio. Well, at least this one is just a room. It's a room with a bunch of yoga mats in it, and then a little meditation table at the front but you could imagine would be for the teacher of the class. Uh, I mean, really, they'd probably just have another matter of the, their own, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, anyway, so getting a couple of change rooms in here. These are not bathrooms. They don't have any toilets in them. Let us have a couple of wardrobes to change into your yoga outfit so you can go into class and uh, get your yoga on. Oh, yeah! So that's what you do in there. Uh, so just a couple of changing rooms, as you can see. So getting the doors in there. So, yeah, there's a lot of really good suggestions and ideas and uh, a lot of cool things. And in fact, I can't remember what all of them were, so I'm gonna load up the comments right now, uh, just so we can have a look and I can appreciate, because there were so, so many good ideas. We didn't have a lot of room left, um, but, you know, I did what I could with the space. You know, I took some of the most popular suggestions and we did uh, that there. So the top comment actually was, I really love everything you did in this session. And then, I do think a yoga studio would be neat, and perhaps a small bookstore. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert for what else is coming up. Uh, so, so yeah, that was the top comment. Uh, and, well, thank you. I'm glad you liked everything I did in the previous part, because otherwise that would be a bit disappointing that I kind of ruined, kind of ruined everything, which I'm trying not to do. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of really good ones. A movie theater, that would have been really cool. Didn't really have room for that, unfortunately. Because uh, I would... You know what? I might build another one, because I, I did... Uh, uh, like a home theater room build ages ago, but I've never done a full theater room build. Room build? A full theater build, because I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, it'd be cool if they brought this back, because I had them in... Was it The Sims 3? They had... I think it was a... Was it a store set? They had, like, the, the cinema? That was pretty cool. I wish I would do that properly, because that'd be a lot of fun. Um, and then... A couple of suggestions about, like, vending machines and that, but, I mean... Eh... I, I didn't do that. I, I didn't think it was needed because the thing is, this place is already, it already has a bunch of items. I added in a few details here and there, and especially upstairs on all the residential balconies, I added a lot of, uh, you know, chairs and dining tables and barbecues and all that kind of stuff. And then, oh yeah, this comment is actually one that I directly did want to respond to. Uh, and it was someone saying, dude, I thought you were going to add a pool to the gym. Do it. Most apps with dimes usually have pools. Um, I don't think I ever said I was going to add a pool to the gym. So I don't know where you got that idea. And also, there's definitely no room for a pool in the gym. Uh, if I was going to add a pool to an apartment complex, it would have to be much bigger than this because it's not. there's no room in this and it didn't really fit. So that's why I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think I 
don't know if there was any other comments I directly wanted to respond to uh, that I wanted to call out. I wanted to call out that one because that, that one actually got a lot of support. That had like uh, the pool one had like 200 thumbs up. So I just wanted to make it clear why I didn't do it um, because you know, there's not really any room. Also, having a pool like two stories underground. Actually, no, it couldn't be two stories underground. It would have to be it would have to be on the, the level we're on now because we couldn't do it the level below because that would create a third basement level. And you can only have two basement levels. So the pool would have to be on this floor. And there's actually just no room. There's no room. This lot is not big enough for a pool anyway. Because uh, I was thinking I could do it two levels. I could do it on the floor below. But then I was like, oh, wait, no, you couldn't. You couldn't actually do that. Uh, yeah, so here we are building a little bookstore as well. I thought I'd change all the window frames to the black trim just so it matches all the other doors properly. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> that was a good suggestion as well. Next, I, there was a few people that suggested this as well. Uh, a future cube store. Because you got to have all the future cubes. Uh, it would have been a bit boring, though, to look at that store. Like, it, there wouldn't have been a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> would have just been future cubes, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't... There wasn't much I could do about that. Well, I mean, I could have done it, but like I said, it wouldn't have been as fun, I don't think. Anyway, yeah, I think that's all the sort of main comments that I wanted to address. But now let's just have a chat. Uh, yeah, so getting these huge bookshelves in. And I'm actually sinking them as far into the walls as I can. So that you can sort of, you know, visually have more space to walk. Um... But yeah, so I currently this layout doesn't stay. I think I change it a little bit. I don't think it stays like that. No, yep, totally change it. Because I was like, yeah, it's a, it was a bit, you know, it was a bit in the way. Uh, so what I do is sink every single one of these into the wall just because it gives us that marginal bit of space. It gives us a little bit more room to fit more stuff in the middle. Because I really wanted, similar to the clothes store, I really wanted a table in the middle that, uh, you know, had a bunch of books on it. Because that's also commonly what you'd see in a bookstore, as you know. Uh, you have all the bookshelves and then you'd have a table with some books on it. I really wish there were actual store displays. Uh, really, really wish there was some store displays that could fit items on it really, really neatly and multiple of them. That would be really, really handy, uh, especially for a bookstore and the clothing store, the one across the way, because that had the messy pile of clothes all over it. And this just basically has an absolute pile of books on the table. Like, there, it is just a pile of books. Uh, you'll see it coming up very, very shortly. Uh... But I like to imagine the pile of books on the table as it's like, you know, one of those book fairs where it's just like people just bring in their books and then they sort of sell them on uh, and to, to, like, to raise money. So I, th I like to think of it that way, you know, people are just dumped their books there and you can sort of rifle through them however you want. You can bring in your books, add them into, you know, that kind of stuff. Just because it's so not neat. So not neat. So unneat. So messy. Probably that's probably a better way to say it is messy <laughs> because it's just yeah not not neat at all the table display so uh that's i like to think of it that way because otherwise if it was an actual bookstore selling new books it wouldn't be a very nice way to display them as you can see i use all these and the sort of recipe books and um yeah it's basically just a huge huge pile of books uh <laughs> going on and i think it, it does it looks really really cool it just doesn't make a lot of sense for a store to have such a messy table because um, you'd think someone would come along and at least neaten up the books and put them in nice neat piles and really like I said I really wish we had store displays that could line up objects really really nicely but you know what we can we can always wish we can always hope uh put a nice colorful chair there I thought for you know the cashier maybe they could sit down there have a nice have a nice seat uh also had an, an, an oh my god had an annoying because saying an annoying I was stumbling over that. Uh, had an annoying one square gap there at the back. So I was like, I don't know what to put there. Um, I just put a chair, put a table, put a light, a little place to read. I don't know. And I'm putting a bunch of frames on the wall uh, to just get it all up there. Make it look really, really nice. I don't know what it is about just doing absolute crap tons of pictures on a wall, but I really like that look. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know, it, it just gives that, that really sort of fun, fun vibe and atmosphere. I don't know, it's kind of messy as well. It goes with the books. I think that, that bookstore also looks really cool. When we go into the screenshots as well, it looks super, super cool. Uh, so now we're doing the final store, which was another very popular suggestion. And that was to do a kid's like toy store, or just a kid's store in general. So doing a nice big window display on this one. And I thought I'd actually get the children's mannequins as well. There's actually no clothes in this store, but I thought I'd just get like the mannequins to do some fun poses in the window display. So to make, make kids be like, oh my God, this is so exciting. Uh, so as you can see, they're just generating the random outfits. 
I don't think the outfits look good at all, actually. Um, but that wasn't really the point. Uh, <laughs> it was just to be a bit of fun and a bit of crazy. So we get a nice big uh, dollhouse in there. And we get all the kids in there. And then I'm going to start working on a display here. So I thought, uh, why not, you know, go back to uh, where we started this build, doing all the lofts and weird kind of crazy spaces. Let's build a bunk bed out of beds. Obviously, I've mentioned this in the previous parts. These bunk beds are actually not functional at all. The lower bed would work, but the upper bed wouldn't. And I've explained this before, so I'm not going to go into detail as to why it doesn't work. Uh, but I saw this particular design, or this particular layout of a bed on Twitter. I can't remember who it was. Let me... It was the other day. Let me go back through my mentions, because I really, really liked it. They used these uh, little L-shaped pieces, and uh, the little floor... You'll see it in a minute. The, the floor lighting that came with, I think, Spa Day to create the ladder. And I thought that was the perfect way to do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they, they used the... Um, they, they actually made it functional because they did their beds in an L pattern, not directly above each other, but I borrowed a similar idea. So they, uh, who is it? Faith at underscore emo, uh, oh, sorry, at underscore emo underscore mermaid underscore on Twitter. Uh, yeah, they, they were just tweeting me pictures of that and Delhi as well. Uh, they used these little um, spa day floor things to make ladders. And I thought that was a great idea and actually worked really, really well. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to borrow that. I'll put it in my window display. So thank you so much for that really cool idea. It works really, really well. Uh, I would uh, have used that. Oh, actually, no. I couldn't really use those as ladders in the other places because I would still need poles to put... Yeah, it wouldn't really work. Anyway, uh, works really nicely for a decorative uh, bed frame, though, I think. Uh, anyway, so yeah, having fun with the kids. We've got the bunk beds in there. We've got the toy chest with the kids standing on top of the toy, toy chest. I thought that was pretty fun. Because <laughs> what kid wouldn't want to be like, ha ha, I'm king of the castle on top of the toy chest. The toy chest? Don't know why I keep saying that. The toy chest. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah. And then getting some stuffed animals on the bed as well. I thought it was a bit of fun. Oh uh, yeah, so it's just kind of a crazy window display with the dollhouse, the huge uh, unicorn the thing, I don't know, plushy and backpack, a nice, a few plush toys on the bed, just a bit of fun, nice bunk bed, toy chest, or toy test, I guess, as I was trying to say. Yeah, it's a bit of a crazy window display, I thought it was really, really fun, and I think it looks really cool as well, when you look at this place as a whole, and if you sort of, uh, kind of imagine walking through this place, and you have all these sort of store windows, and I don't know, I think it looks really, really cool. So, back in the store, uh, getting a few shelves, these don't stay, because I later find out how bad they are for putting things on the shelf. Like, you can't really fit anything on the shelves, which is quite annoying. Uh, these bookcases, which I haven't used yet until this build, actually really, really cool. Uh, because that lower section you can put stuff on. You can actually put a lot of toys and that on it. Which, I guess, makes sense, because those bookcases came with kids' room stuff, I believe. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I did, like, a little reading corner in the back where you can buy all children's books, and then there's, like, uh, those two chairs, and then I think I get... Get like a little table that has like pencils on it. I really wanted the, um, cause I know, I know there's the drawing table for children, but I was hoping that there was just like some blank pieces of paper that I could put on the table. So it looks like they were drawing on that, but, oh, actually if I wanted to buy the bug, I probably could have found something. No, oh, it doesn't matter now. Too late. Next time. And a couple of, uh, little fun rugs on the floor, a little frog and a flower and a bunch of toys on there that you could imagine you could go along, play with, and then also buy elsewhere in the store. Yeah, this is where I realized those shells were really, really bad. Uh, and I was like, you know what? No, not using those. <laughs> you know what? No, not going to touch those. They're terrible. Let's use something that's a little bit better. So using these little display shells, uh, these toys don't actually sit on top of them, but I thought, you know what? If I just move them up, I can put them on top, make it look like they're sitting on there. Make it look like it's a display where you can, like this, this, I don't know, this is the craziest toy store. You go in there, you can buy these giant plush toys. That'd be so cool. I would love one of those. I used to have a giant monkey. Actually, I think I still have it. Because I told, it was in part two of this series, where I told this story of my me breaking my knee. I don't think I mentioned that I had a giant, so when I was in hospital, because I went to hospital obviously for surgery on my knee, because it was so bad. Um, I Because I was 12 years old at the time, I think. Yeah, I was 12, definitely. Uh, and then my, my family bought me this giant plush monkey. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever, and we still have it. Um, but yeah, that I don't know, those giant toys always remind me of that. And my one giant plush animal. Oh, I always wanted a giant plush toy. And I got one when I broke my knee. Ah, that's a lesson to you kids. To have a bad break of a bone. End up in hospital for it. And then you can get like a giant plush toy. Uh, but probably don't do that. Uh, 
<laughs> try and avoid that if you can. And then, so we have this table in the middle, just a display table, the whole bunch of different toys, a lot of different stuff on it. And then just a sort of cash register over here, uh, so you can obviously make your purchase and get the hell out. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how this property would actually work as a retail space, because you could run multiple of these stores as the actual, uh, like, you wouldn't have to just operate out of one of these stores, but if you if you made this a retail lot, you could actually uh, run the, the this store, you could run the clothes store, uh, the bookstore, and actually the bakery, you could all run all three of those as a retail lot, or four of those, is that four? Kids, store, clothes, yeah, four. All four of those as a retail lot. Uh, so that'd be really interesting to run this as a business. And then, of course, like I said, you could do the dine-out aspect as well as a restaurant. So now we're going up the top. Uh, we're finishing off all the exterior spaces because we've actually finished all of the interior now. Uh, so this is one of the large apartments. So that balcony next to this is actually their balcony still. Uh, but I thought it'd be a bit of fun just to block off that archway with the sofa because maybe they wanted a nice outdoor sitting space Um that's kind of separate from the rest of it. And then we get a nice barbecue out there. Of course, top of the line barbecue, because this is the biggest apartment. Actually, no, the other apartment across the way is the same size, but I think this is the most luxurious apartment, uh, you know, out of the place. So I thought, you know, let's get the most expensive barbecue, because I don't think any other ones have the biggest barbecue at all. Um, but... Yeah, and oh, like I was saying, previous part, getting in those planters as well, you can do a bit of gardening. So I uh, I made an effort to try and not use the same furniture, like the same items in different colors at different apartments, because I wanted to, there might be some repetition here and there. Uh, I think like I use this table elsewhere, but I was trying to use different items. So, because I mean, realistically, every person is going to have a different set of furniture and I wanted to make it look like everyone had different furniture, like in the real world, not like the same carbon copy items in every space, because um, it wouldn't make any sense. Uh, so the, obviously there's only so many items in Sims 4, especially only so many items that go outside. So there's some repetition, but I, I try to make an effort to make it all different, especially different layouts. I didn't want the same thing at every apartment. I didn't want the same barbecue. I didn't want the same table. I didn't want the same lounge chairs, all that kind of stuff. I was trying to make an effort of making it look different uh, because I think... That's kind of what I was trying to do from the very beginning, is make every apartment different, even though realistically in an apartment complex like this, all the apartments would probably just be a carbon copy of each other. Not in terms of furniture, but in terms of layout and like, you know, kitchen and plumbing, all of that would be, you know, each apartment would be exactly the same. But in playability terms, in The Sims 4, that's no fun, having everything look exactly the same. So that's why, from the very beginning of this build, I made every apartment different, I made every layout different, I've made all the furnishing, I'm trying to make everything as different as I can, whilst the building still looks the same. You know, each of these units, they each look like they're one unit, you know, like with these sort of separating, dividing walls between them. They all look like one unit, but then when you get into it, everything is so different, uh... That's what I've tried to do anyway, to make it interesting, to make it unique and a little bit more fun. Uh, I'm just, I'll tell you what, I'm just glad that I didn't make this any bigger than I did because, uh, not, not because I didn't want to do it, but because like I said at the very beginning, uh, like the very, very beginning, this is quite laggy. You know, it's, it's getting to a point where <laughs> there's so many items that it's so, kind of struggling to keep up. I imagine if I didn't, if I had just done it as one floor, you know, just this top floor of apartments would be fine. But adding the two levels of basement, or the, the, mainly the one level of basement, and then there's that sort of lower floor of the the, uh, the gym. It's just because there's so, so many items. It's because, especially in these studio apartments here where I've got all the lots, because there's so many items in such a small space, I think it's just, it's crazy. I mean, this place, like I said, is worth over half a million simoleons. So that goes to show just how many things are in this place. And just how detailed it is. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, but now we're just finalizing all of the exterior, all the like sort of landscaping and outdoor space. And I thought we'd get uh, some of these, some more of these trees. Because we've got two of them downstairs, as you can see in the courtyard area down the bottom. Uh, but I thought I'd get some more of them. Because this is the main entrance out here. This is the this is the main front of the lot. But there are entrances from all four sides. But this is kind of like the main. This is the front. This is the main space. So we're just getting some more paving and uh, just getting a lot more detail going on around here as well. I was going to add that big fence, and I thought, no, nope, let's just get a small sort of discrete fence around all the hedges, just so it looks a little bit more finished uh, than it would do otherwise. Um, yeah, I don't know, just add a nice little finishing touch to it. Uh, 
uh, there. And then, of course, I, I'm doing a little bit more detailing around the front. I thought we'd get a few, kind of, because this is a commercial space as well. So I thought we'd get a few commercial aspects to it uh, out the front here. And you'll see it in a minute. I'm just deciding what I want to use. Uh, I really wanted to use those, but there was nowhere that they realistically made any sense. Uh, so I've got these bollards, uh, which you'd often see at, you know, pedestrian locations to stop cars driving through. So I thought, you know what, that's kind of fun. Let's let's add these around the place to stop people uh driving their car through because it just adds that little aspect of realism there as well there are you can see there's a couple on the road there actually on the map but obviously not everyone's going to place it in this spot so i thought that made sense someone could still drive up there and getting a couple of these banners like that one there looks like it could be for yoga the other one maybe for the kids store or something with all these kind of fun colors uh just some crazy things and then that's that little sign there which i thought kind of fit the aesthetic of the place and a couple more billboards down the bottom here. The one of the yoga and then the similar one of like the, the kids store kind of colorful aspect there. I don't know. Uh, and then there are, I'm going to add in some outdoor bins. I'm getting some flags in here. I thought they were kind of fun too. I'm adding outdoor bins in in just a moment. And also the the mailbox is just in the back right hand corner. You can see it just now. Can't see it now. Um, I move that. I don't know if I do that on camera. Do I? Uh, I can't remember if I move the, the post box on camera or not. Uh... But you'll see in the screen. No, I didn't. But you see in the screenshots, I move it. So I got two post boxes out the front there. You know, one for the left, one for the right. I thought that was quite good. Really, really love the look of this entrance, actually. Those bollards are signed, all the banners, and it looks commercial, which it should do. But the top floor is all residential. The bottom floor has got all the stores. Uh, but we're only going to see the screenshots of the new stuff today. If you want to see all the other screenshots, go back to parts one, two, and three, because it's got all the progression. Here is the bookstore from the outside. I think it looks so cool just looking in through the window. I love the window shots. Ah. Oh. And look at that. Look, I really, really love that as well. I think that is super cool. And just another angle here as well, just to fully appreciate it. But once again, the download link for this is in the description down below. You can click it. You can go to the gallery and download it there. Uh, my origin ID is The Sim Supply, the same as my YouTube name, just without the spaces. You can download it from there. Uh, but like I said, be warned, it's pretty laggy. You might have to de delete some things that you don't need and play with it from there. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this building uh, series. Normally I do these in one video, but this place was just so big and so detailed that I needed four. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.